Hey there everybody, it's Nathan Cool with NathanCoolPhoto.com and in this video I'm going to show how you can do some easy slow motion effect so that you can take a video that looks like this and we're going to smooth it out into something more buttery that looks like this. Slow motion, but it's not going to be jittery, it's going to be fluid, very smooth. So this is something that's very popular for just about any type of videography really, but it becomes very important for instance for real estate as you're using a gimbal and you're walking around no matter how gentle you may do your ninja walk you might get some shake so this will help definitely reduce that because slowing it down you don't see as much of the motion that may be going on also it gives a very dramatic effect so you don't always have to slow down your footage but in cases you do this will show you how to do it very simple thing we're going to be using Premiere Pro and by the way this is also covered in my book on basic video for real estate. I do have a link for that down in the description for this video. So it'll be some things will be assumed on getting started using Premiere Pro, the footage that you've already shot, that'll be covered there. But anyways, let's get into this effect. It's very simple to do. Let's get started. So here we have Premiere Pro up. I'm going to do it in here. Other programs do something very similar. The concept is basically the same. We've got some footage loaded up over here. I've already imported a few different clips. So I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to bring that up into a timeline. You can see though everything looks pretty bland and blank because I really haven't started anything because this is where the key comes in. Now what I've done is that I've shot all of this at 60 frames per second. I just shot these at 1080 but 60 frames per second. So if I were to play this, then we would see that we're going to see something that, yeah, we kind of saw in the intro. This is where I started out and it's finally find where I want to start playing this. And it's not bad, but it's going pretty quick. And one of the reasons I'm going pretty quick is because I don't want to keep holding that gimbal and walking slower though. So try to do this slower and you're inevitably going to get some shake because you're holding it way too slow. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this and rewind it all the way back here to where we want. We don't need to worry about that. This is the preview window, by the way, if you're not used to us seeing that. You can select any of the footage uh, that you have done in the timeline and play with it, select what you want out of it, that type of thing. But we're going to go back to this clip right here. Now, to start this, you could just drag this over into where your timeline would be and it would create a timeline. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is create a timeline at 30 frames per second. The way that do that in Premiere is to do it with a sequence. Now you would think it'd be under the sequence menu, it's not. You go under File, and what you want to do is you want to create a new sequence. So you go to New, and then you go to Sequence. Now this will give you a lot of options. You can see here recently I made a new sequence at 4K, 30 frames per second. What I want to do in this case, since I did a 1080 at 60 frames per second, I want to make a timeline that's 1080 at 30 frames per second. So I want half the speed on this sequence. So I'll say OK. And now I've got this sequence. Now things are starting to come together over here. But if I drag this clip over, it'll just interpret it as being this native 30 frames per second, it's going to then take out half of the frames. Now that can really uh, smooth things out. So you can always record at 60 frames per second, pop it on a 30 frames per second timeline and it will be smoother. But to get that buttery, smooth, slow-mo, we want to do something special. So what I'm going to do is go to that clip. It's this one right here. That's that uh, 20 that you see here. So that's the one I've got selected here we can move through. What I want to do is right click on that and what I want to do is go to Modify, Interpret Footage. When I do that, there are some choices. And up here, there's one that says assume this frame rate. You can see by default, it's using the frame rate it was recorded, 59.9, which is uh, 60 frames per second. So click assume this frame rate and put in 30. That will match our timeline. Now when we do that, if we were to play it in the preview window, we can see that now everything's moving slower. So that's where we want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to where I want it to start. So let's say that I did this little thing where I'm starting to come inside here. I'm going to start it right here and I'm going to click the little brace here. And you can see that marked that spot. I'm going to take it to the end where I want that to stop. And that's right before I start pulling back. So it'd be right about 
there, that's good. So I click that. Now, taking this little icon here, I can then drag only the video portion over onto the timeline. You can zoom in on the timeline so you see what's going on. Now when I play that back, I can see that it's smooth, buttery, buttery smooth going in there. It gives me a little bit more of that tour effect also instead of just real quick bouncing around someplace. So that was a very, very smooth transition you can see going into that dining room from outside. Now it needs to be color graded quite a bit, so that's something that you can do next on that. And just to show you real quick what I might do with this, this. We'll take a look at that real quick as a real quick bonus here. I'd get it to where the primary area is that I want to work with. And you can see there's all kinds of little color casts coming in. So just real quick as a bonus, I'm going to take that, go up to the color section, and I'm going to do some adjustments. So I can go into basic section, maybe change the temperature a little bit. I definitely want to bring out the shadows just a little bit, bring down the highlights just a tad. And then I can go into a little bit of desaturation, which will take out little bit of that, don't want to do too much of it, and I can get real fancy with the color wheels and saying that in the shadows over here, got a little bit of green, let's turn that into a reddish blue, so we just kind of drag that over. If I turn off the effect, then you can see this is what it looked like before, this is what it looks like here. Now that I've done that, I might be able to move my saturation back up to where it was. So we move that back up to 100. Now let's add a little bit of contrast to it, so we've got that. So now if we turn that off, we turn that on. Now let's play that clip from beginning to end. So this is now with the color grading that's been added to it. And of course, it's now the slow motion. We got a, a much better looking video overall. If we play the original video, of course, this is what it looks like. And yeah, it was very fast, wasn't color graded. So that was uh, not exactly the most ideal uh, video segment. But once again, it's very easy. The concept is to do this is that you want to have a 30 frames per second timeline. You want to record then in twice the amount, which is 60 frames per second. And then the key to this is that in the video, you would right click on it, you'd go to modify, interpret footage, and then you would set the frame rate to 30. And one last thing to see a little bit more from where I did this for this particular video, let's take a look at this.
Well, I hope that was very useful for you and that you can use this technique in your photography videography as well. If you did like this video and you want to see more, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It won't cost anything. And as soon as one of these videos is posted, you'll be the first to know. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, and get out there and shoot something.